In this video, you will learn to compute hypothesis tests and confidence intervals for the difference between two means with summary data using StatCrunch. In this example, I will compare randomly sampled four bedroom homes listed for sale in two adjoining cities, Bryan, Texas and College Station, Texas. A random sample of 15 homes listed for sale in Bryan, Texas was found to have a mean square footage of 2,842 square feet and a sample standard deviation of 831 square feet. A random sample of 15 homes in College Station, Texas was found to have a mean of 2,751 square feet and a sample standard deviation of 774 square feet. This video will cover how to compute a two-sample T hypothesis test and a two-sample T confidence interval. A similar approach can be used for two-sample Z methods that are the appropriate for the situations with larger sample sizes and or known standard deviations. For this video, the statistical question I am going to test is, is there a significant difference in the average size of four bedroom homes listed for sale in the two cities? To do so, under the stat menu, I'll choose T stats, two sample, with summary. Under sample 1, I'm going to enter 2,842 for the mean, 831 for the sample standard deviation, and the sample size is 15. For sample 2, the sample mean is 2,751. The sample standard deviation is 774 and the sample size is again 15. Notice under the perform menu by default the hypothesis test option is chosen. For this example we'll leave the null at zero. For the alternative hypothesis you could have not equal to less than or greater than. For this example I'll leave it at not equal to. I'll click compute. The output table provides various statistics from the test, including the test statistic and the p-value. Now instead of computing a hypothesis test, let's compute a confidence interval for the difference between the two means. To do so, under Options, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we set up our test. In this window, StatCrunch has other options for the user to choose. This time, under the Perform area, I'm going to choose Confidence Interval. By default, StatCrunch has a value of 0.95 for the level, which will produce a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the two means. For this example, I'll enter 0.99, which will produce a 99% confidence interval. I'll click Compute. The result now shows a 99% confidence interval for the difference in the mean square footage of four bedroom homes, where L limit represents the lower limit and U limit represents the upper limit of the confidence interval. 